worried about a serious worldwide economic slowdown, something that's more apparent by the day. What stocks can still work in that environment? You want secular growth stories that keep working regardless of how the economy is doing. The classic recession-resistant industry is healthcare. Consider a company like AMN Healthcare Services, which is a managed service provider, they call them MSPs, that provides hospital and workforce and staffing solutions. Basically, they handle the business side so doctors can focus on treating patients, although they have other things that they do too that are pretty amazing. In an environment like this one, with high labor costs, healthcare providers need AMN staffing services more than ever. So let's take a closer look with Susan Southwick. She's the president and CEO of AMN Healthcare services hear more about how our company's doing where it's headed miss Saga, welcome back to mad money good to see you thank you, thank you for coming thank back you so thank much. you have a seat please well your stock has done terrifically since we saw you last much better than the stock market and i think one of the reasons is because people are starting to realize maybe there is a slowdown but it really doesn't affect you, does it? Yeah, well, we have a lot of things driving our industry, certainly starting with an aging population, which drives utilization of health care, but it also creates shortages within right. the health care workforce. You know, we have really severe shortages within nursing, physician, allied, and even within leadership. So we're really seeing those two things um, come together right at the worst time, probably, for health care. But that's where AMN comes in. We can help health care providers to ensure that they have the right talent in the right place at the right time through things like our managed services programs right. that you mentioned, but we have other workforce solutions as well. Now, when I heard about the tightness, and it's uh, throughout in your conference call, other than a couple of places, I started thinking, okay, let's say I was the Federal Reserve and I read the AMN Healthcare conference call. Should I be worried that the economy is overheating and there are not enough, pe enough people to fill good positions? It's a really tight labor market, and as you well know, people are everything in the success right. of an operation here at Mad Money, but also at AMN and for our clients. And so helping them get the right health care professionals is really critical. But we're at a time when the number of health care job openings, if you just look right. at the BLS data, health care job openings are twice the number of hires. In fact, we're at record highs for vacancies and job quits. And so it's really essential that we bring everything that we can to help them get the staff they need, whether it be temporary or permanent. It's also really important that we help our clients to optimize the staff that they have. They need to make sure that they're taking every precious moment right. for that physician and that nurse and getting them to the patient that needs them most. I've had some uh, spent some time with Kaiser Permanente. I think it may be one of the best runs there, companies in is. the country. It, they're a client of yours. What would you be doing for them? Well, they are actually our largest client right. and, as you say, one of the most progressive Whoa. and innovative right. organizations. We just renewed our contract with them and are expanding it into new categories and new regions. And so we help them make sure that they have contingent staff, primarily now in nursing, but we're expanding it into the allied areas as well as physician. And then we'll also be bringing other innovative technology tools to them. I'm really excited because we're going to be putting together a workforce institute with them to really make sure that that we're innovating together to make sure that they have, but also our country has, the staff we need to take care of patients. That's a company that is the gold standard in they terms are. of, of uh, treating men and women equally. In, in terms of recognizing that perhaps opportunity should be open to everyone. I know uh, you were kind enough to be in my corporate governance conference. This, this is a very important initiative for you. I want people to understand what you've done because I think it's one of the reasons why you're able to get people when other people have a shortage. Well, I appreciate you recognizing that, Jim. It's something that our company is very passionate about, making sure that we use all of our resources and our time and our talents to do not only good work for our clients and our clinicians, but also just do good work in the world. Yeah. We call it performance and profits with a purpose. And I am so proud of the AMN team and all that they do. We're particularly passionate around social causes and being involved in our community. So we support our team members and volunteerism. We go to Guatemala on a mission trip every year. And then around uh, gender diversity, uh, gender and um, equality, as well as diversity matters, we take a very strong role. Um, certainly, we have a good track record ourselves, but we want to help our clients and others to also improve. But I also know you're an objective individual. Uh, do you have statistics which show what happens when you bring in AMN in, in order to be able to, to leverage what ends up being, you, look, you want to make money for your, for your clients, uh, where it shows that AMN is the, it, it, is, it brings the numbers up. 
Well, what we can do is we can help our clients ensure they not only have the talent they need, but we can help them reduce their costs. And remember, right. workforce is 50% of a hospital's budget, and half of that is nursing. So anything we can do to help ensure that they are being as efficient as possible is absolutely critical. And so making sure that, A, they have the right talent, right. but also that they're using that talent most efficiently through things like predictive analytics and proper scheduling and workforce planning. Those are ways that we can really help them to solve their total workforce challenges, as well as just ensure that they have the right staff at the right time. Well, terrific. Ever since we've known you, we've been seeing you grow and doing the right thing. A lot of great acquisitions, too, that we didn't get a chance to talk about. But you've been a stranger on the show. It's upsetting because you're so terrific at what you do. That's Susan Salka. She's AMN Healthcare Services President and CEO and a company that I was very proud to serve with on a panel because of the good things that they do. Their money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.